Hey everybody and welcome to this month's tips and tricks video and um, like many videos that I create this one is based off of uh, a question that's been popping up a, a lot recently um, and it has to do with working with reference models and Trimble Connect. So a lot of people are starting to use different types of reference models more especially in the estimating side of things like this model here I already have a couple of drawings that have been inserted as reference models uh, so that I could do a, a takeoff or maybe just to, you know, as I'm modeling, as I'm creating the structure to double check my work. Uh, you know, people are using these for different reasons. Uh, but the request has come up that people would like to also see these in Trimble Connect. Now, of course, you could just upload those DXF files to Trimble Connect. That's fine. Uh, Trimble Connect can take a DXF. But the, the issue that people were having is, okay, I've imported this DXF to connect, but now I've got to scale it up. I've got to find the right scale like we did in Tecla Structures. I've got to locate it, you know, at the right floor, at the right orientation. Uh, so basically, I'm having to do everything twice. Is there a better way? And uh, what I wanted to show you is that better way. So in Tecla Structures, you know, we're assuming that this model has already been uh, linked to a Trimble Connect project, and then we've uploaded the model to Trimble Connect. Now that could be an IFC file. It could be using the uh, you know the upload model uh, option here uh, on the Trimble Connect ribbon uh, or tab in our ribbon. Um, so you know the model is already there, the main model. But for the reference models, the the files that we've inserted, and it, it may not just be a, a plan drawing, it may be any kind of reference model, uh, you can upload that by going here to the Models uh, button. So when I click on Models, this opens up um, a what we call the Trimble Connector, and in here you can see it's going to show currently what's in this project. So if I were to expand this out, I can see the current Tecla model um, that's in Trimble Connect. And I actually called it Trimble Connector for the purposes of this video. And you can use this to enable an overlay inside of the Tecla Structures model. I'm not going to show you that today, but that's pretty handy for being able to compare the current Structures model to the Trimble Connect uh, model that was uploaded previously. So I'm here today to talk about this Reference Models tab. Um, so on the Reference Models tab is where you can click this plus sign and you can navigate to a place to put the reference models that you're currently using in this Tecla Structures project. So I'm going to go into this Trimble Connector project and then the structural folder where the, uh, the upload went and I'll just say OK. Um, and now down here I can see in model only so it's not in connect right now but I have these three DXFs connected to structures and on the right we've got this little cloud icon where you can upload that to Trimble Connect so if I come through here right now uh, you have to do it one at a time so we're just gonna run the upload for each one so there's the first one and then I'll get to the second one. And you can see up above, it's now listing that I have the uploaded from the upload model button dot Tecla file, which is the 3D model. And now we're starting to see those DXFs get moved from the in model only up here to the list of stuff that's in Trimble Connect. So I like this because it's a very easy way to get those files into Connect. And it, again, it could be any type of reference model that you're using in structures. But the important thing to me is that they maintain the scale and the location of where they were in Tecla Structures, which is really, really awesome. So if I come in here to that, that folder, the, the Tecla models uh, that I had created, so there's the 3D model, the Trimble Connector, and now I've got those three DXFs loaded in here. So if we go and uh, look at that .tecla file, give it a second here to load. So there's the 3D model. And if I go down and choose everything in project where I can actually expand that directory, there's my three DXFs, my three reference uh, models. And if I start to enable those, you'll see that they come in again to scale already and in the location where they were in structures. So I find this to be a super easy way. I might change my colorization there if I was going to keep that. Uh, but you can see it's coming in at the right location. Super easy. You don't have to rescale it. You don't have to be moving it around in Trimble Connect. It's very, very straightforward. Um, so that 
to me, is a, f a much better way to get your stuff uploaded into uh, Trimble Connect from Tecla Structures. And one last time, I'll just reiterate, this works with any type of reference model that you might have inserted into Structures to get it into Connect at the right scale and at the right location uh, where you need it to be. So, super quick video this time. I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, it's come up a few times lately, especially with people doing ESTA modeling uh, workflows. They want to be able to, you know, see that same data in Connect. This can be done even with IFCs that have been uploaded to Connect using PowerFab. So you can link this up to an existing uh, Trimble Connect project that was created by PowerFab and then link these up in the same exact way, again, to scale in location. Uh, so lots of potential workflows here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below um, or any ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching.